I think so. Seven has just become one of my favourite films ever. I'm really surprised to see that this has quite a low rating on IMDb. 5.5 out of 10 across 105,000 reviews and ratings. But honestly, I loved everything about this. This was released in 2010. It's originally called Saw 3D or Saw the Last Chapter. And obviously we know there are three Saw films that come after this. But I absolutely adored it. It's like all of the gore they'd scrimped on from the previous few films, they were waiting to just unleash it all in this film. The narrative is so cleverly written. I was hunched over feeling sick for most of this film, which I loved. And it was just so fabulous. So I'm going to keep this spoiler free because I absolutely recommend it. But if anybody wants to talk about anything specific with me, please feel free to message me. I would love to go into more detail about this. There probably will be spoilers, though, from the previous films. So if you haven't seen the previous Saw films, that's just worth bearing in mind. And this one, as they all do with the sequels, picked up where the last one left off. And we have Jill, willing to give some information about Hoffman for protection and immunity. Meanwhile, there are some games going on, mostly focusing on a character called Bobby. Bobby has been going around telling people he survived one of the jigsaw traps and starting these support groups, which I think is a good idea. But he's telling people he survived this and he's got this elaborate story about what his trap was like and how he survived it. And now he has to play the game. And I will say he's a really interesting character. He's not badly written. He's not too dull, which sounds like an obvious thing to say, but I feel like some of the characters we've had over the previous six films, well, some were more enjoyable than others. Bobby, I think, was a pretty decent character, and the traps that he has, some of them are really fascinating. Some of them play out really intensely, and honestly, all of the traps here were really interesting to watch, which again, is not always the case. Some of the traps in previous films have been okay, but quite tame. This one is not for anybody who has a weak stomach. It is gory, it is bloody, it is incredible. It actually starts off with one of my favourites because it played out in an environment that was very bright, very well lit, very easy to see what was happening. And I don't want to explain exactly what the environment was like. I can't remember if that was the opening scene, but definitely it was one of the very first scenes and it just immediately told me this is going to be a different film. Things are going to play out in a very interesting way. And they absolutely do. And I won't say any more than that. I won't say, of course, what happens to Jill or Hoffman or anybody else. But I was so desperate to find out more. And this is not how I felt a couple of films ago when, when it was revealed that Hoffman was was working for John. My initial thought was, why? I'm not really that bothered about this character. He's not currently very interesting. But over the films, he's become really, really compelling. And I, and I have to say, the performance that we get from Costas Mandalore is just brilliant. So compelling. So fascinating to watch. And um, yeah, I found this to be an incredible film. It is very, very well written. It's somehow both complex but easy to follow, which again, is not always the case with the previous films. It is, in my opinion, the most gory, the most graphic, the most incredible. The characters are the most fascinating and I rather enjoyed it a lot. So I am really surprised by that 5.5 out of 10. I mean, it's not a terrible rating, but anything below 6 kind of suggests, on IMDb at least, that there are quite a lot of negative reviews. And I loved every second of it. Absolutely adored it. Would very happily watch it again. Because even though now I know how things play out and I know what the outcome is, it's still graphic. It's gory. It's amazing. And I feel like, as I've mentioned a few times, with certainly from about the third film onwards, it stopped being scary, but it was fascinating. But this one, my heart was in my chest pretty much all of the way through the film. It was just shock after shock after shock. Easily the most incredible experience. One of the most 
terrifying, shocking, horrific films I've ever seen for all of the right reasons. Absolutely adored it. I don't expect the next three films to live up to this one, and I'll be okay with that. I love this so much that the bar has just been raised for me ridiculously high, so if the other three don't live up to this, that's okay. As long as they're good, I don't think they'll ever be as good as this one. Also, seeing it in 3D, I wish I did. That would have been amazing. Maybe some of the reviews are about the 3D experience. I don't know. I haven't looked at any. I try not to read reviews until I've done my own. But either way, for me, saw the final chapter, although it is not the final chapter, is absolutely incredible. I loved every second of it. I would be very happy to watch it again. And I cannot wait to see what's in store for the other three films.